Welcome back. In this video, we'll compare Staphylococcus scaled skin syndrome with Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. These conditions are very similar and they're frequently tested. Starting with the staph condition, it's a disease of the newborn, so expect the demographic to be 3 to 7 days old. Steven Johnson is more common in children and young adults, while toxic necrolysis is more common in adults. Staph syndrome presents with erythema and bulla all over the body. This bulla contains clear fluid, which is sterile, and it frequently ruptures. It does not involve the mucosal membranes, like the inner lining of the mouth. Steven Johnson also have bulla all over the body, but it very commonly involves the mucosal membranes, like the inner side of the mouth. Toxic necrolysis is distinguished by the full thickness separation of the skin, and that's why it's called epidermal necrolysis. Staph syndrome is more acute, and it's caused by, well, staph infection. Steven Johnson is commonly caused by anti-epileptic medications which presents with acute fever which resolves very quickly and then is followed by the mucosal and skin bulla. The skin lesions resolve very quickly in a week or two but the mucosal lesions take very long time to resolve. Finally, toxic epidermal necrolysis is also related to medications and sometimes infections it starts two to three weeks after the trigger and it also stays for two to three weeks. All of these syndromes are very severe. While staph infection is the most serious because it normally kills the infant before we can measure the infected surface area. Steven Johnson syndrome affects less than 10% of the body and toxic necrolysis can reach up to 30% of the body. And here's a small quiz. And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.